Hi everyone, so I'm here for my 37 week update, so I'm full term tomorrow, which means a baby is safe to come at any point, which is fine by me. <laughs> I'm really struggling this week, um, all my symptoms just seem to be sort of amped up and a lot of first trimester symptoms have come back, which I know is just hormones and your body getting ready for labour and everything. But it's really, really hard, especially when you feel so heavy and big. Um, so, yeah, basically I'm just really tired all the time. Like, I'm having to nap every day. And if Sienna doesn't nap, I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, how am I going to get through the day? Um, like, now it's like, it's quarter to 11 in the morning and I could nap now. Like, I'm so tired. Um, so yeah, tiredness is definitely a thing, but I haven't been sleeping well either. Last night I was actually awake quite a lot with nausea and period pain. Um, I'm getting a lot of period pain, a lot of lightning crotch as well, she's definitely trying to move down I think. Um, yeah, the f kind of like first trimester sickness seems to have come back. This morning I literally thought I was going to throw up, which I don't remember this with Sienna. Um, not to the point where I actually thought I was going to be sick, maybe like a few waves of nausea, but this has been every morning this week. Um, I just feel awful when I get up, just exactly how I did in the first trimester. Um, so I'm guessing it's just like an influx of hormones getting your body ready. What else? Heartburn has really, really ramped up. My throat is actually sore from so much like burning. Um, I swapped from Gavascon to Rennie tablets because someone said that they seem to work better so fingers crossed that will help me a little bit more. Um, and yeah, I'm just generally feeling really ready for her. I feel like I'm more pregnant than what I am, like I feel like I've been ready for ages um, but I don't know if that's just because, you know, you just kind of get fed up or because it's my second, I don't know but... Oh yeah, I'm just so ready to not be pregnant anymore and I'm really excited to know that like labour is going to happen soon and just like, oh I wonder when it's going to happen, I wonder where we're going to be, I wonder how it's going to happen, like are my waters going to break or am I just going to start having contractions. Um, so yeah, that bit is a bit exciting but I just wish it would hurry up and happen because three weeks sounds like a long time I know it's not and I'm trying not to sort of like wish it away I'm trying to keep myself busy but I said to Warren it's really hard because like I'm so tired I don't want to do anything but then I sit there and I'm really bored and the day goes really slow and I'm like what can I do so like it's trying to find something you know to kind of keep myself busy but also not tiring myself out um, yeah, I think Sienna's finding it hard as well because I'm so tired, I don't want to do anything and my migraines have been really bad this week as well and she's just been like, Mummy, can we do this? Can we have music on? Can we watch this? Can we read books? And I'm just like, oh, Sienna, I can't because my head, I'm just dying, just... I'm not going to lie, she's had a bit too much egg surprise this week, but... I just can't do it, I've just had to lie down and just keep her occupied because I'm so tired and my head's banging. Um, so yeah, bad mum points for that but sometimes you've just got to do what you've got to do, especially at 37 weeks pregnant when you feel like crap. <laughs> so um, yeah, this week hasn't been good, sorry to be like such a downer but I know that it is for a good reason, hopefully my body is getting ready for labour and everything. Um, so yeah, that's it in terms of symptoms. In terms of the nursery, we have started, her cot has finally came, woo! So we set that up and um, it's only that one corner of her room that's actually done at the moment, I still need to sort out the rest, but like I said, I'm struggling on energy, so I haven't really been in the mood to do that. Um, but hopefully I'll get a few good days in between now and when she comes that I'll just be able to sort a bit of that out. Um, so I will do a nursery tour but when it is finished people keep asking me to do a nursery tour and it's nowhere near finished so I'm not going to do one yet. So it will probably be after she's born to be honest now because she's going to be in our room anyway for the first 
you know, few months. So, um, just hold your horses on the nursery tour. I think that's pretty much it to update you on just my symptoms and the room and obviously I'm just growing. She's definitely dropped. Let me know if you think she's dropped. I think she has definitely dropped because when I look in the mirror, you know if you look straight on, I can't see my underwear anymore because my belly is hanging so low. Um, and I looked back at my thumbnail of my last week's update, 36 weeks and from the side my belly is kind of like straight whereas now I think it's definitely sort of hanging um, and it dips down so I will show you my belly now and let me know what you think so I hope you can see um, but I definitely think it's lower kind of like a hanging belly now. It definitely looks like it is ready to burst I think. <laughs> so. so yeah that's pretty much all to update you on, it's just kind of a waiting game now. Um, as I've mentioned before I will announce when I'm in labour on my Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or probably all of them. Whenever I do an Instagram post I normally share to Facebook and Twitter. Um, so if I know that I'm definitely in labour I will let you all know so make sure you are following me if you want to sort of follow along the journey because it's quite exciting. So yeah I guess I'll be back next week to see if we have any labour signs or anything but I'm not holding out much luck on her being early to be honest. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!